Water pressure and irrigation flow. I am Dr. Phil Busey. We are at Miami-Dade College Kendall Campus Landscape Technology Nursery. To understand that loss of water pressure happens because of using too small an irrigation pipe, we're going to do an experiment. Irrigation designers must use a friction loss chart, which is a series of tables showing loss of pressure at different size pipes uh, uh, for different rates of flow. But we're going to develop those numbers ourselves to better understand. First, in an earlier presentation, we observed that in using 100 feet of, one, of, of 3 quarters inch supply line, there was poor irrigation coverage that there was only 21 pounds per square inch pressure in this three quarters inch pipe. And that's not enough for the particular sprinkler heads that you see here at this particular spacing. That's not enough for good coverage. If we increase the pipe size to one inch, there's better coverage and the pressure is now 30 pounds per square inch, which is exactly right for these particular sprinkler heads at this spacing. To understand and measure the loss of pressure, there are th three gauges. The first gauge on the left is the upstream gauge. This measures the pressure at the source of water, which is now 40 pounds per square inch. And the second gauge measures the pressure at the beginning of the uh, irrigation zone and at the end of the 100 foot supply pipe. Currently it's showing 30 pounds per square inch. So there's an approximately 10 pounds difference between the beginning and the end of the 100 foot supply line using the one inch pipe. Now let's try another pipe. Let's go up to one and a half inch supply pipe and see what the, the change has been. But we have a little bit of a problem because the flow coming out of a sprinkler head is dependent upon the pressure and the pressure is dependent on the flow. To solve this circular problem and be able to compare apples to apples, I'm going to make an adjustment in the valve in the supply area to bring the pressure back to 30 and I will just slightly restrict the flow very carefully with that correction there is now 30 pounds per square inch pressure at the beginning of the zone and the end of the 100 foot supply line and notice that the upstream pressure valve shows 32. There has been two pounds pressure loss, two pounds per square inch, in using 100 feet of supply line, which is one and a half inch diameter, compared with before we had 10 inches of loss with a one inch pipe. What is the flow? Well, the flow is dependent upon the pressure, and as I said, the pressure is 30 but that was the pressure at the beginning of the zone. Let's look at the pressure at the end of the zone. It's actually 30 also. Normally there would be a little drop in pressure in the actual zone, but the, this irrigation zone was designed very well with large pipe size and with early branching of laterals. So there was le certainly less than one pound difference. That's good. Each of the two full circle spray heads has 3.7 gallons per minute and each of the eight half circle heads has, uh, has 1.85 gallons per minute. You can multiply that out and add it up. That would be about 22 pa uh, gallons per minute flow. If we were to go to the friction loss table for two, 22 um, gallons per minute flow, one inch pipe would tell us that there should be 11 pounds per square inch loss whereas in fact we measured 10 close enough and that for the one and a half inch pipe there should be about one and a half pounds pressure loss uh, for a, 
100 feet of one inch, uh, one and a half inch pipe. Actually, we, we measured two, so it was very close. Well, that is it in a nutshell, and it is a, a lesson that you need to use the irrigation friction loss table as well as the sprinkler head table to find the flow for individual sprinkler heads in designing irrigation systems. It's a lot easier to do this work on paper than to, to set up an experiment with multiple supply lines.